know, when it came to developing Maggie and Bryce, uh, I wanted to show, I think, the growth of a character. So you meet Maggie at two different periods in her life, one when she was 16 years old and then one when she's a little bit older, like 39 or so. And uh, uh, I wanted you to see the how things stay the same with who you are and how things change and the surprising twists and turns that life can take and how sometimes you end up at a place where you never once imagined even possible because it was the furthest thing from your mind. So, you know, when you meet Maggie when she's 16, she's in a pretty rough phase of her life, right? She's pregnant and her parent, her family's very Catholic and they did the old fashioned thing of, well, we're going to ship you off to live with a distant relative during the course of the pregnancy. She ends up in a little town in the outer banks of North Carolina with absolutely nothing. And she really considers herself marooned. And it ends up being a wonderful period of uh, growth and understanding for her in many, many ways. And of course, the other part of the story is Maggie reflecting back on this period while also reflecting on, I guess, everything else in her life and the decisions she's made and why life turned out the way it did. And I, I, I love those kinds of stories where you kind of get the entirety of growth of a character where the reader really feels as though they know this person like they know their own family. And so that was really Maggie. And of course, then you have a couple of other major characters in the book. You've got a, a young man named Bryce. This is who Maggie meets when she's 16. And you've got a young man named Mark who works with Maggie in the present day. And they both uh, play integral roles in the story as well. Hachette.